Holy crap, I've recorded a lot of our quad masters today. And welcome back for some more! Oh boy. I don't know whether this will be my final episode. Monday Night Football's coming on. I don't know if I can miss that. But here we go with video 24, and I'm going to preempt it. By saving in the correct slot, and we are departing from the starbase here. Setting out for areas unknown. Although actually they are. The first place we're actually gonna go, I I think I'll pop in uh <sighs> Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and you know what, I don't actually think I need to visit them right away. Instead, let us go visit I should have done this earlier, back whenever I was near the oars. Alpha Cherenkov. We haven't yet met the Vox in this game, along with several other races. And we're not directly aiming to meet the Vox. However, how, <laughs> however, there is an Admiral Zex, I believe his name is, who we are aiming to meet. And who is this? Ah, it's another Slylander probe. We come in peace. In case you don't know, maybe transmit the Stark sequence. Engaging self destruction circuitry. There we go. Hooray! Oh, we do get the RUs. Screw it. <laughs> That's a time saver right there. I approve. Definitely approve. Do do. I I don't think. I I, I think I don't think the the conk. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just thinking about it. I It's hard for me to say something in a discussion with myself without revealing anything about the game. I don't think the Pekonk are completely annihilated, though. They're going to visit their brothers, like they said, their brothers and sisters, the Yehat or whatever. That's where they're heading. And, uh, contrary to what they think, the Yehat probably gonna kill them. Now, I don't think that actually happens in the game. So... I don't think it's a big deal. However, the Bakunk Sphere does uh, dis dissipate. I don't remember. It's been too long. Don't tell me. Shh. Somebody's already told me in a few videos ago. I'm sure. I haven't uploaded anything, but I'm sure that's already happened. Uh, whatever. Let's go here. I think it's the first planet. So we're going to go ahead and pay a visit to that first planet. Fantastic job, Grimoth. Ah, human visitors. What a treat. I am Admiral Zex. Please, do not be frightened. Unlike the rest of my species, I enjoy humans. You may know me by my reputation, my leadership of Vox forces during the war with your lives. I assure you that this behavior, a sad necessity of those times, belies a much kinder, gentler being. Please, be welcome. We can get to know one another, expand our interspecies relationship. But wait, how silly of me. You aren't here for polite repartee. You have come for my show-fixing maidens. Interesting. How did he know that? Crafty man. Ah, such a good question. But you always were a bright species. I will explain. After the Great War, in which I played some small part, the Vox High Council, in recognition for my services, granted me this planet, so that I might pursue my hobby without disturbing the general Vox pockets. I am a collector, you see. I have the finest menagerie of beautiful creatures in all space. Animals? <laughs> oh no, Captain. Not mere animals. My menagerie contains only the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy. Each of my children, as I like to call them, has a wonderful set of traits which make them unique and special. Especially to me. I have a complete variety of beasts from as far away as Poseidon and Vega. No, this is not just some zoo. I have worked diligently for many years to craft my menagerie, to gradually improve it. Perhaps you can't tell, but I am rather proud of it. 
Alas, there is one creature, one gorgeous animal, which I do not yet possess. I would give almost anything for that creature, Captain. Because I like humans, Captain, I respect and admire your species. I do not share the bigoted views of most of my people. No, no, not all, Fox Captain. Most, but not all. It is true when the majority of my people view one of your species, they are forced to regurgitate. But there are those among us who have grown beyond such childishness to take a more liberal view. We, the few sophisticates, are not subject to the whims and fads of current fashion. Our likes and dislikes are strictly based on personal preference. We see the beauty in you humans, the value in a long-term relationship. You are different, yes, but personally, I like difference. In fact, I adore it. Your physique is so wonderfully varied. Your multitudinous, rigid appendages, your tiny double eyes, your varied skin coloration, and the delightful patchwork of hair covering only parts of your bodies, leaving other parts bare and smooth. Hmm, I value your species, Captain. I see you as just people, like us fox. on the list of creepy races. Where would you... Okay, keep in mind that this is an individual Admiral Zex. And he, while well, his appearances are the similar to the Vox as a whole, he himself does not represent the Vox. Hmm. How about that, folks? You want me to replay that? I don't think so. You have talked with my Vox countrymen, haven't you? They are close-minded fools, bigoted in all ways. Call me what you wish, Captain. I choose to view myself as, well, simply open-minded, free to experience the full range of life's possibilities. The Vox rulers could not refuse my military genius, couldn't ignore the many victories I gave them, but they would not tolerate my behavior, accept my desires as natural. So they sent me out here, uh, Hero's exile, where I will poison the minds of youth with my bizarre ideas and perverted lifestyle. <laughs> Bigoted fools. You see, Captain, we are not all that different, you and I. We are different from the majority of Vox, and so we in Vox eyes are both monsters. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about this while hearing his voice. He almost reminds me... Actually, there are similarities it seems between him and Agent Smith. Mr. Anderson, we are not so different, you and I. <laughs> Although, no, they're not the same. There are some similarities, it just reminded me. Anyway. Hmm. What an interesting proposal. I never would have thought of such a wonderful idea myself. You are a genius, Captain. In answer to your question, yes, I accept your offer. Deliver the creature to me, and I shall give you the show fix he made needs. I will even provide you with a clue to finding the creature's native planet. My source for this information is an ancient wildlife handbook written millennia ago by some unknown alien author. The pertinent passage goes as follows. Demise. It basks in yellow light within the constellation Lynch Na Plo. We have translated Lynch Na Plo to mean approximately the long, thin creature who has swallowed the huge beast. I am afraid this is all that I know. I hope it is sufficient. I am the long... We have translated li Demise. It basks in yellow light within the... We have Certainly, my smooth-skinned friend. My source for this in Britain will demand me that I'm... I... Goodbye, beautiful human. I hope we can meet some day as friends. Perhaps even more? I don't think that's happening, bro. <laughs> Bruh!
Alright, so... Moving on. Now, that is important to note. That is the only clue you're going to get. And from there, you have to extrapolate where exactly this fucking thing is. Now, of course, you could stumble upon it with blind luck. Certainly, uh... Stranger things have happened in this game. However, among some of the puzzles that I remember, one of the ones that I do remember is this one. So let us analyze the map here and the situation. Okay. So we're looking for a yellow star in Lynch Nas Pla, or however the fuck that was pronounced. Uh, basically, roughly translated to something that ate the huge beast or whatever. Thin object. Now, if we take a look at the various constellations here in hyperspace. One very interesting one seems to fit the bill here, and it's the Lynch. Oh fuck! I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but it is around here. Actually, you'll see it looks like a snake, which has consumed some sort of huge beast. Thus, this huge bulge. Are you expected to figure that out pretty damn quickly? I don't say that you have to. Now, I don't remember exactly what star this thing is in. One of the yellow ones, though. So, we're gonna go for yellow. Now, of course, you might be like, Grimmit, that's all the way on the other fucking side of the galaxy. What the fuck, bro? Well, believe it or not... Well, I guess you don't have to, but, uh... Let's go ahead and utilize my quasi-portal device to escape that dangerous situation. We are looking for four four eight five zero oh, four zero. This would be the only one, all the way out here. Not the only portal, but the one furthest out there. Okay, okay. Okay, now take a look at where we are on the star map. Holy shnikes, children, that's right. All the way over here. Very useful technology, wouldn't you agree? Now, problem is, I don't remember exactly what planet this thing is on. I just know that there's a yellow star involved. Okay, that's all I know. Now, let's go ahead and scan this, and we reveal... Nothing! Nothing! Fucking nothing! No, oh, well. What about over here? We're looking for a planet with biological life, pretty much. That's what we want. And we don't just want a small amount of biological life. We want a lot of biological life. And it could very well be this world. It's the water world. And there is biological life. Now, this creature that we are looking for is unique and extremely dangerous. I'll let you know what, what it is whenever I see it. I hope. It's one of a kind. I'm not saying that I remember everything about this game, but I like to think I'll be able to point out... There we go! <laughs> That's him! <laughs> he moves fast. And he takes a lot of hits. And do not let him touch you. Do not, under any circumstances. Here we go. Report from surface. We have finally trapped the hideous beast, which has been so hard to capture these past few days. I swear, we emptied our stun batteries into that thing over a dozen times before it even slowed down. A few more shots to its barbed head, and it went down but we had only a few seconds to get it into the magnetic restraints before it started thrashing around again. Even as I make this report, that damn monster is shrieking like a steam engine and trying to tear its way free. I hope we know what we are doing, bringing that thing aboard. If it gets free inside the ship, Captain, well... I just don't want to think about it. Returning to ship. Shit! I didn't know I was gonna do that! Wasting my fuel game! So, there you go. That is the evil beast, and I am pleased to have found it so quickly. Thank you, Warp 
thank you, Warp Portal, for taking me straight there. That means I can teleport back. Quickly. Kind of. Let's go ahead and pick up the other resources on this planet. We won't be back over here again, I don't think. We might, eventually. I don't know. It depends. By the way, we need to go pay a visit to the Spothy sooner or later. We gotta see what's, what's up with them and what the fuck they're doing. Pro tip, it is nefarious. Perhaps they themselves are the ultimate evil. Ah, damn it, I left the mineral on the planet. Oh well. The ultimate evil! <laughs> Alright. Let us go. Let us fly. Now, the closest constellation I, um, there, there's only one portal that I can think of that'll get me even remotely close to, well, what I'm trying to say is that, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but there aren't any exactly really super close ones to, um, Alpha Jerenkov, I don't think. Um, so 516-466 is my best guess. Five sixteen four six six. Is that correct, Grimoth? That is. Okay. Let's go ahead and fly there. I could be wrong. I'm not saying my notes are perfect. They are notes. They are notes. Okay. What did this light lead us at? Well I guess that's technically closer than if I started over here. Duh. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can uh go say hi to the uh to the Vux. Maybe we'll encounter a Vux ship on our way there, and we can say hello. Hi, friends. Yay, friends. Oh, by the way, uh, I believe you can vis visit go still go and visit the Pekunk home world. I think once a year they still give you like new ships and stuff. I'm not gonna go do that because I don't need them. But you can do it. Uh, that could be a sly Landro probe. I don't feel like stopping for that if it is. I'm a man on a mission. <laughs> you don't want to know, by the way, how long it took me to find that 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 place the first time that Admiral uh, Zex wanted. It's not required to win the game. Oh, hey, that was a sly Landro probe, was it not? Okay, folks. Save game. Why am I so blessed? My favorite friends, the humans, are back. Captain, it is good to see you again. You humans are so interesting, so beautiful. You know, I have many pictures of your species. I keep them on my walls to inspire me. Ah, a most excellent piece of news. My chiton rasps and moistens with excitement. I have been looking forward to this for so long. <laughs> My subordinates stand ready to receive the beast from your ship, Captain. Affect its transfer, and then we shall give you the maidens you desire. Oh yes, no problem. Even now my subordinates are bringing them up from the surface. So let's not waste time. Send that delightful beast over immediately. Captain, Captain, we are both creatures of honor. If I say that the show fixing maidens are on their way up from the surface, then they are. You will have them shortly. Accept my word. Now please, Captain, the beast. <laughs> you know, he is a man of honor and all, but I, I, I do think this is a fair point. Humans and Vux have had a pretty stormy relationship. Why should we trust you? Really, Captain, my honor is impugned. You have maligned me and I am deeply hurt. I thought we had built some trust between us, different though we may be, but no, I perceive now the same bigotry and misunderstanding which brought our two species to war. 
This was our chance to cement a good relationship between human and Vox. With my influence, the High Council could easily have been swayed to view the human cause in a more favorable light. <sighs> okay, the beast is all yours. I'm sorry, Admiral, but be careful, it's a killer. Ah, my new child is on board. Such a big one, isn't he? And so frisky. I am delighted beyond words that you have given me the beast, Captain. But I am afraid that there has been a slight change in our plan. How we convenient! <sighs> oh, my beautiful, luscious human. I had thought that the hideous, violent monster you have given me would complete my collection of ugliness, my menagerie of monsters. I was wrong. You, my human love, are the most vile, the most fierce, and wretched. My collection could never be complete without you. I need you, Captain. But alas, I fear you will not give your consent willingly. Am I right? Therefore, Sub-Commander Dux, terminate communications, warm up my modified intruder, engage the Precursor Warp Nullifier. <laughs> Prepare for battle! Sub-Commander, why has my main console become inoperative? The transmit mode is locked! What do you mean the central system computer is damaged? How? The beast? Escaped? No, Sub-Commander, this is impossible! It couldn't escape from our strongest containment system! It's what? Dex 5 and 6? 11 crewmen? Sound the alarms, you fool! Where is it now? Engineering report! Engineering! Sub-Commander, seal bulkhead! Sub-Commander, are you listening to me? What are you staring at? Pay attention, Sub-Commander! Give me a report on its position! What are you staring at? Behind me? What? Did we not try to warn him? By the way, that precursor warp nullifier that he was talking about? If I remember correctly, Admiral Vex, among other things, you know, he's collected artifacts uh, over the course of his years. Basically, he developed something that disallows your warp drives from engaging, so you can't escape from him. Yeah. How do we get out of the way? He appears to become snack food. And so we are going to land here on his unique planet. I do believe Admiral Vex got what he deserved. And I regret nothing. Also, I look forward to collecting all the biological life on this planet. Oh yes. I look forward to collecting every single piece. So, you guys want to speak any more about the Admiral and what he said to us? You guys want to talk about that? Or, you all good? You all need to speak about that? I mean, I'm totally cool with never speaking about that. I'm just saying. I mean, if you want to talk about it, we can, but, uh... There are some things best left unsaid. said. I'm just saying. We can completely ignore that. And by the way, I'm coming back to this planet. Report from surface. In the Vux Commander's Menagerie, we have found what appears to be functioning cryotanks containing a dozen bipedal creatures. We can't be sure, but through the tank's fogged viewports, we think we can see young Shofixti females inside the freezer units. We have transferred the cryotanks to the lander and are returning to the ship. End of report. Ah, <sighs> we need those. Definitely need those. And I am gonna use my fuel here. I think I might actually be in a situation where I'm gonna run out of fuel. Huh. Fancy that. I am highly amused by the prospect, but I've gotta fly to Delta Gorno. And uh, I've gotta do some stuff there once we get to Delta Gorno. So, it's possible that I might not have enough fuel. Especially since I'm deciding to land on planets. Especially since I haven't collected all the biodata from here. Eh, we'll leave the rest of them. I mean, we have 661 biological units. I don't think that's counting the 500 uh, additional credits that we're going to be getting. Either from the uh, Mel Norme. So, that's a lot of credits. 
That will definitely take care of everything else we need to purchase from them. Not that we need to purchase anything from them. The game. Yeah, I guess you could go through the entire game without purchasing anything from them. That would be really hard. <laughs> really, 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 really hard. I think you could do it. It's kind of interesting. Makes my head hurt. Okay, so next up. That was fun. Uh, I'm gonna have to plot this carefully. Not interested in fighting you. Okay. There go the Bakunk. Now, there's a sphere of influence here that you guys don't know about yet, the Yehat. Ah, uh, yeah, they they base up in the Serpentus system. As a matter of fact, I think Gamma Serpentus, I moused over that, or cursored over that, is their home world. Okay, 21.6 fuel units to get to there. Thirty-nine minus twenty-one point six. Son of a bitch. I'm not gonna have enough fuel to do what I need to do there. Because this is the show fixed to your pain in the ass to talk to. They have how should we say personal problems? Fuck. Of course, I trade away the fucking fuel pot. <laughs> I trade away the fuel pot. <laughs> the fuel tank. <laughs> Look what happens. Oh yeah, I totally needed that additional... I totally needed that additional Hellbore cannon. Oh yeah, that, that totally been necessary. I wasn't able to kill... The Urquan and Korra with three. Oh no, I needed another one. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I, instead, I do nothing. Okay. We need to visit them. We need to visit the Mel Norme, I'm gonna say. Let's go to the Mel Mel Norme. I'm going to buy fuel from them. It's closer. Providing I can quickly get to their ship, everything will be okay. <laughs> Come here, Melnorme. You know what? I'm gonna save this for next video. Because while we're busy with the Melnorme, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of stuff. So tune in next time for Ancient History and Racial History with the Mel Norme. It'll be a good show. Doodaloo.